Hi everyone, it's Edna here. Welcome to my series on Bach Well Tempered Keyboard, book one. Now we've come to fugue number five. And of course, fugue number five takes the same subject of prelude number five, which was timing, but it approaches this subject from another point of view, from exactly the opposite point of view, in fact. So we said that prelude number five was all about impeccable regularity. How can you keep the regularity and the impeccable timing that is very regular? Now, if we would apply this to fugue number five, we would play the fugue themes in this way. about keeping the exact time that is written in the score. I think that it's all about the character of the piece and the character of D major is very royal. The character of the theme using a French overture style is very royal. And so the question is how can you best support this character through timing through agogic and make this theme as royal as it can be and so in order to make it as royal as it can be i would use the triple notes as a gesture and supporting the long note as fleischer said support the composer keep the long notes longer and making a little uh, adjustment of the 16th note to be shorter. So I would play it in this way. One. Notice that each voice is not going its own way like in fugue number four or fugue number three or two every voice is there to support the theme the theme is the king and in that way uh, each voice is a harmonical complement to the theme so yeah that's what i think about this fugue um the most important thing is i think to look at prelude number five as talking about timing and in which timing is objective it needs to be like a clock and looking at fugue again from the point of view of timing but this time from the subjective way how can you use time in order to give more character it's all about the subjectivity of timing here yes the the meter one two three, four is stable. So the general meter is strict. I don't say that it has to be flexible, not at all. It needs to be strict, but inside the strictness, the triple notes are free. So one, two, three, the fugue like now now you had four entries of the theme in each voice and it was all about the the theme of the fugue and now he's using part of the theme in order to build bridges <laughs> You see that 
that's just a measure in which there was nothing. There was just a part and it was bringing you to the next time the theme will come. And now he's modulating. You see? So make the difference between parts which the theme is in full and the part which is actually just using part of it which makes it a intermediary section. Now, another kind of intermediary section is here. Now, because of the lyrical character of this bridge, I actually like to use uh, the timing as is written and not to overdot the this I don't like. I think that's against the character of the lyrical. And the entrance of the theme in straight up. And so on. And if you want to read or hear more about this piece you can find it uh, in my book on amazon interpreting and understanding piano music uh, the well tempered keyboard by johann sebastian bach and in the cd i just released with audio note music bach book of zen see you next time bye